It is currently 1.30. We are starting right on time. We are doing our 80-20 challenge. So once you get a skill that's been recommended to you, please raise your hand so I can keep track. Remember, we're keeping track and there are some prizes going to the winner. This room sounds amazing. This room looks amazing. I see Justin using his game plan to show his work. Thank you so much, Justin. I see Naraya using her game plan to show her work. Thank you so much, Naraya. Beautiful. Again, folks, once you get an A20, give me a strong, silent hand so I can make sure you're getting credit for your work. Mr. Matherin and I have pocket full of tickets we'd like to hand out. Let's make sure we're using our game plans, showing me your multiplication, your division, all that small scrap work. I want to see it on your game plans. Nice job, Evan. Muy bien. Bien trabajo aquí. Gracias. Nice job, Michelle. Answer one more for me. Justin, Justin, two. Well done, Justin. Mr. Myers, let's add Michelle onto there. Nice work, Michelle. Nice job. Oh, you had that. Do it again. Let's do the next one together. A little bit less than halfway through, folks. About another eight. Twenty-eight kilometers so. in one hour. Draw that. ratio table. Two, two, you can use my pen. What's my labels? Kilometers. And. Out. Now you're cooking. What do we got? We got 56 divided by 28. We're trying two. Two times eight? Uh, 16. 16. Now we're cooking. Two times two? Four. Plus one? Plus us. Now we're cooking. Times two. So what's what are we multiplying one by then? Two. Two. Yeah. So what's one times two? So what's our answer? Now we're cooking with gas. Way to come back after it. Give me that pen. Nice job, Ryland. Remember folks, if you're starting to get a couple wrong, please make sure that you're reading the feedback they are giving you so you're not making the same mistakes. And also, if you're, you also just raise your hand. I'm happy to walk through one or two with you to make sure you're on the same point. So what do you, what's the pattern you already see? One exponent, how many zeros? Two exponents, how many zeros? Two. Three exponents, how many zeros? Three. You with me? You see the pattern? Yes. So can you just tell the exponent just by looking at this? Yes. What is it? Seven. My guy. Well, you look up. No, there's one here. Oh, yeah, I see what you're going. There's how many in this one? Two. So one and two is a total of? Two. One and two. One and two. Three. Yeah. So which one has a? A uh, number that's three places behind the decimal. There we go, right? My guy. Figure out what our mistakes is so we don't get up to a crazy question number. Yes, Christian, really well done, buddy. If you need help with showing your work or figuring it out how to do it, yes, Ellison, well done, buddy. Please make sure your name is on your scratch paper as Daniel comes around. If you don't have anything on your scratch paper, don't put your name on it because we can reuse it again tomorrow. Once you have your name on it, please just put your things down so I can tell that you're ready for our next segment, Ryland Market Edition. Thank you. All right, folks, again, on your desk, when I look up in a second, hopefully I see a prep note, your word problem, a pencil, and a green pen. Can I get a volunteer to read? All right, we're gonna read it twice. Zane's gonna go once, and then Evan's gonna go twice. A stand was selling eight mangoes for $10 at a farmer's market. Who is correct and why? Beautiful. Give me a hand if you have a strategy that you're already thinking of using to show your work. Mark two additions for engagement if your hand is in the air. What strategy are you thinking, Zion? I can ratio table. I like if you are agreeing or disagreeing, market edition for engagement. Thank you for that showing that you are paying attention. Evan, something to add? Uh, I'll make my ratio, and then I test both of the theories to see which one is correct. Okay, I agree with that. Okay. If you are agreeing or disagreeing, market edition. Thank you so much for being on point. What else do we have to have to have a perfect answer? I underlined it. What else do we have to have on there to make a perfect answer? Ellison. Why? Yes, 
That's what we're working on as sixth graders as we're using our explanations. Give me a number uh, on two hands. How many minutes do you think you would like for this problem? I see some tens. I see some tens. Uh, if you finish early, I will give out um, some bonuses to anyone who finished front and back, and especially this one. It's a little bit of a tricky one, but again, your main priority is this guy about Keisha and Luis. I'll give us 10. Let's go ahead and get started. You guys got this. I can already tell from Zion and Evan and everyone agreeing that you guys are going to be awesome at this. All right, so everyone's with their pencil right now. I already see ratio tables and labels from students through this work. That's beautiful. Really good job. You got the best calculator there is right there. You got it. Okay, what do you want to calculate? First of all, I would simplify it. What's the biggest number that goes into 8 and 10? 2. First thing I'm looking at is divide by 2. Okay? Yeah. So what is Keisha saying? Let's go to Keisha. Keisha said that. That means we can write the ratio 10 to 8. Or, so she's trying to say per mango. So mango, you put a 5. You simplified. I like that. Per mango. That means one mango. So we're going to put that 1. That's my dollars. I like where your head's at now. Okay, so how do we go from five to one? Divide by five. Now you're cooking with gas. So remember, whatever you do to the top part of the ratio, you have to do. Okay, nice job. If you're feeling like you're at a sticking point for you, give us a hand, we got your back. Mr. Matherin and Mr. Myers are here to support if need be. But the most important thing is everyone's trying. That's beautiful. Everything is one point. Zero point eight. So, which one do I, Keisha or Luis? Uh, Luis. Okay, so Luis is saying per dollar. Did you put the one here? Did you divide by 10? Did you check that do eight divided by 10? Did you check that to see if it's right? Yes. You checked it? So he's good? Mm -hmm. Okay, we know Luis is good. You check Keisha. Because Keisha said per mango. So how do you get from eight to one? Divide. Yes, now check her work down there, okay? So I should get five here, is that right? Yes. Okay, three times one and two thirds. Let's see if I get five. Three over one times five thirds. Did I read this entire problem? I don't know, I hope so. How else would you do it if you didn't read it? Um, five and two thirds comes in the middle because one cup equals three tablespoons, which means two thirds equals five. I'm not mad. Yay. Nice work, buddy. Is that the only way you can solve it? Is there anything else they could do? What if they didn't have two thirds of a cup? What if they only had one cups and tablespoons? Is there anything else they could do? Mm, what? Fill up partially. But what if, like that's it, that's not the same measurement. If you fill partially, you're not looking. What, there's another thing they could do with filling things up all the way. See if you can figure out that one. And if you do, I got you. Five times eight point four times 10 over 10 equals four. Did you do that times 10? Where's your decimal gonna move be? Yes, you got it. Nice, well, that's five and eight tenths. If this slides over wants to become a whole number four, this slides over to become 5.8. So your decimal really is. Oh, also, hey, four goes into five one time. She had one right there. We got labels, we got scale factors. There's no guesswork going on. Ooh, I got a couple of volunteers. I got three volunteers here. Okay, well listen, listen, let's check it out. Okay, Ellison, I'm gonna come back to you for the explanation. I think your explanation means money. Okay, um, let's check it out. Give me a hand if you're like, oh, I see what he did and I did the same thing. Or give me a hand in the air if you're like, oh, I see something I did a little bit different or I have a question to ask. Find two unit rates. That is, this is the main idea. So if you have something about this down, please get it down in green pen. I see Kennedy, Zion, Jordan, Naraya. Michelle doing that already. If I give you students to desks, you can figure out how many students uh, for one desk or you can figure out how many desks for one student. You can always find two different unit rates when you are given a rate. That is the main idea of this whole exercise right here, right? You don't need to fill up every single line in here to have a perfect explanation. That's a pretty darn good explanation and I only used half, right? I got to the key point, and the key point is you can always find two unit rates whenever you're given a rate, okay? If there's a bunch of apple slices in the bin and I got 20 students, you can find the number of apple slices for each student, or you can find how many students are for how many students for each apple slice. You can always find two different unit rates, okay? 
What's the ratio that he wants? And if you mess with it, he's not going to be happy. Zane, what is the ratio? Uh, listen, so you need one cup of milk. Yes. That's it. Freeze right there. That's beautiful. Yo, bar five edition, Zane. Really good job. Five is in between three and six. And that in between one and two is 1.5. Or you can start from the original ratio of the five by three to find your unit. I have three fourths divided by five fourths. What'd you do? Um, so what I did was I turned that at three fourths into one page bar. Talk me. What uh, what'd you change? I did. Uh, I I uh, I kept uh, three fourths. I changed uh, the uh, problem to a one page problem, and then I put my uh, fourths to four fifths, and then I uh, cross simplified to uh, four four. And then I got one, and then so what I did was. I got a uh, three fifths. Let this man cook! Brooklyn, someone build. Okay, Evan. It's because the multiplication and division symbols are supposed to go before the addition and subtraction. But, they, but, but, you can, but you can keep them in whatever order that you found them. So, yes, that's actually excellent. Mark 5 editions. The idea is if you have multiplication and division, you go like a book from left to right. And the same thing for? Addition and subtraction. Yes. If subtraction comes first, you do subtraction first. And if, a, if addition comes first, you do addition first. So here's how I want you to write it down. Hey guys, what is wrong with what I wrote down here? All right, I heard from Allison. Someone else, prove to me that you know how to do it. Walk me through this one. Evan. Okay, so first you wanna do your exponents. Five to the second power is not 10, Evan. What is it? 25. Okay, okay. What do I do next? 25 times 3 is 75. Now, now we do simple subtraction. Hey, bring down the rest of my, yeah, 90. Minus 75 is 15. Nice job, Evan. 15. Ellison. Evan. Mark three editions, you two, Ellison. I've heard from Ellison and Evan. Once your notes match mine, go ahead and flip your paper, and if you're feeling confident, we'd love to hear from somebody else. 